coconut crab. Holy crap! That's terrifying! There's a BBC article on it. Ironically, I think this is the best image I'm gonna get of it. Is this one right here. The lardy, largest terrestrial arthropod. Right. Well, in that case, I'm gonna wanna use a circle tool in the color brown. Because that looks like a very light brown to me. No, no, no. Oh, you better look at it. Where, where it is now. I can make that. No, it's... There we go. I'd say that's the right shade. The best shade I can get my hands on. Bugger off, heads. I don't care. It's got to be a way got to be a way to pay to get rid of ads. Right. So, looking at this picture, it's got one, like, oval thing at, it, as it, at its ass. So I'm going to draw, like, an, kind of an O. Yeah, a bit of an O. Then it's got like another, kind of another one, like about there I would say. I go to pencil tool and erase a couple of things. Just there. So I can then fill that, I can fill that part in. I could, yeah. Well, why don't I draw both? I'll try drawing an actual coconut crab, and then a crab that is a coconut. That could work. Alright. Scott. More kind of we- Oh, that was an accident. It's got another kind of weird oval thing go- It's got two weird oval things, I should say. Like, a about... Kinda like that. Kind of like that, I suppose. No, that's too close. Uh, or too far away, I should say. They rather. There we go. I'd say that's about right. Fill those as well. There's another ad pop up, don't care. Looked like it was a clothing ad. Um I might need a bigger canvas. Is there a way I can make the canvas bigger? Okay, I kind of know what to do now, so if I just select to do file, oh, there we go, resize canvas, um, I have no clue how to do this, uh, I just double it, make it a hundred by a hundred. Okay, there we go. We've actually got a but we've got more space now, it's perfect. 
All right, back to the image on Chrome. Uh, right, and it's got like one more circle thing. About, ooh, that's a bit lot. Bit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. File, resize canvas again. There we go. Um, yeah, no, so circle thing's got to be a bit. Nope. I think if I start it inside, it will... Yeah, that looks way better now. Right. So if I fill that in. I can now focus on making a second... I can do a secondary one with, with this as well, but it needs to be, this one needs to be paler, uh, mainly for here. And then I can, then around I just kind of want to dot, because it's a bit pat, it's like, I was going to say something offensive then, but no, it isn't like that at all. Um, it's can I invert it somehow? No? Alright. Uh, but this... This kind of goes up to here. That kind of goes up to there, is it? and it's still like spotty around and stuff. So you just sporadically put spots on it. This looks like something very diff, like just like some weird. Um, I don't know, not um, like uh, what would be the right word? It, it kind of looks like a enemy from Earthbound, I suppose. In, in a weird w in a weird way it's like an enemy it looks like an enemy from earthbound at the moment right but now for the legs brush tool okay brush tool probably won't help with that then i'm going to want to increase the pixel size a bit probably only to 2 At least for the, at least for the legs, the claws are going to be here way bigger. Um, so, actually, let's get a bit of a black line going as well, though. Make that smoke because we need. That's one thing I probably should have done as well, anyway. Is make the um, black outline. This is what you're supposed to do with pixel art. Like everything has to have like an outline to it. Or everything important rather has to have an outline to it. Right. Carefully placing it up there. Right, there we go. Right. 
being very careful placing stuff around here. So I want to make it look right. God, I should have picked a better colour for the outline because it matches the back, the uh, background so easily. I just realised there's another rat in my way. Bugger off, Del. No, it didn't want to do that. You can kind of tell... Now there's a difference if you look very closely, but trust, this is going to look a lot better when I export it as a PNG. Oh, oh. there we go. Let's just swap that around quickly. Fill those gaps in there. Right, perfect. We actually have something now. Um, so back to the legs. Yes, yeah, so you've got one fella. Oh, that. Did I miss a spot? I missed a spot. I think. Anyway, um, back to what I was doing. So you've got, oh no, that's pixel size four. So you've got, and that's the wrong color. I'll get there eventually, don't you worry. But it's about like here. And it crawls backwards. But I, I say crawls backwards, it just sort of arches backwards, rather. Next one's about, next two are about here and just go out there, according to the image. Oh, hello, this one's got a deformity. This one, okay, well, whatever, I'll run with it. So this one's got one to... It's got the one I'm looking at has an arm about here as well, as well as one here. So that's something to take note of. And now for the claws. I'm gonna turn that to four. And the claws are like right next to the face. And they're just goddamn huge. There's no better way to describe it. They are huge. Right. Swap back to basic line. Just kind of looking at it. Yeah, I think that works. So, we got... I don't know what that is, still. Right. Time to get outlining. Get rid of that dent there.
Right. I don't really know what to say. Outlining is a very basic and boring thing to do. Imagine if I was trying to do this in MS Paint. Imagine the nightmare that would be. Ah, oh, there we go. I've, I've just turned the volume on my headphones up. I, the music seemed a bit soft to me and I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Ah. Still. Outlining is something that has to be done if you want to make something look presentable. At least with pixel art. Because otherwise it just looks like a weird mess. I'm not sure if it's the exact same of like doing traditional art and everything, so. Uh, of like needing to outline absolutely everything. It might be. I don't know. I'm not a traditional artist. Oh, that was an. Let me put something where it shouldn't have been. Ah. Uh... Oh, right. I'm on the claw. Just gonna draw like a, a line down here. Actually, no. What I should do is just keep that blank because obviously when I export it it's gonna look better Ooh. yeah okay so if I if I just uh There we go, fixed it. Oh. There we go. Okay, this isn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right, another claw. Line down the middle. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think, just kind of looking at it now, it's a bit wonky, yeah, but... I'd say, i say for a first attempt, that looks pretty good. Especially in something that really is all about precision. Art oh, is a difficult thing, I would argue. Claws could be better, but eh. Like I say, first attempt. I can always come back and redo this at another point. It's, um... Well, the... The image I'm looking at, for the one I've selected that actually gives me what it kind of looks like. Um, this is the best colour I could get for it. To match the image I'm looking at as reference. So... Overweight. Oh. Huh. Okay, let me just look at the image again. 
Yeah, okay, I need to plaster some spots over it as well now. Over the claws. Eh, maybe a bit more over the body in general. Don't really think I did well enough on that front. Hold on, that's gonna really annoy me if that stays there. Uh, anyway. I don't... No. Definitely no. I know fuck all about woman's clothing. Why would I want to wear it? <laughs> oh. Careless. Oh, I've missed the inside of the outline. Hold on. Now that is careless. There we go, that's better. Well, I would say for a first draft, that's not bad. So let's just say, uh, coconut crab one. I'm not going to upload the replay, uh, but hashtag challenge save drawing. Just grabbing it. Cool. Open when done. It's opening it. Where's the image? Yeah. Again, for a first draft, I wouldn't say that was too bad.